Hello, this is Liz. This is my Let's Play of Dragon Age Origins, and we are here in Lothering. Um, this is episode 10. In episode 9, we reached the top of the Tower of Ishal, and we lit the beacon, only to find out that Loghain uh, <coughs> um, was a, a terrible person. And um, let's see if there's anything interesting around here. Loghain was a terrible person, and um, so he abandoned King Kaelin in the field, and King Kaelin died. So now we pick up in Lothering, which is where we are after having spoken to Morgan's mother. And now we've got Morgan in the party, isn't she? Isn't she? Well, she's something. We have refugees so in Lothering. Talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. Mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. So it's really interesting. You can't actually play as an apostate uh, mage in Dragon Age Origins. You must play as a circle mage. Um, I wonder why they've made that choice. Probably there's probably some world building thing about it. Um, See if this refugee Please, has a... We came here to get away from the fighting. Yeah, these refugees don't say anything except it sucks to be a refugee. God, it's terrible. I hear those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? Uh, and the bandits are terrible. Let's talk to this farmer. He's always fun. You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? What makes you think that? You don't look chastened, so you're not from the wilds. And you're not a farmer. I'd guess you saw some fighting. Yes, I was with the King's army. I thought them that survived already marched north with the Tairn. You must be a survivor, or a deserter. Lucky you, I guess. Okay, I have some questions. Can't promise I'm going to answer them. Uh, see, usually he's horribly rude to me. Uh, let's see... Were those bandits always outside the village? Were? You mean they're gone? Yeah, I drove them off. Well, I killed them all. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Sir Brian's would be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Well, excellent. I should go get that. What's going on here? What isn't? We've got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalanhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. Who's in charge of the village? You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. You don't have a ruling lord? He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. I should go. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> I should go. <clears throat> so up there you've got the road and some sort of ruins. Very ruinous. I don't know why you've got these amazing ruins where the road is. But then you've got the chantry over here that's more just like a shack. It's also really weird that you've got all these refugees just standing around and they're not, not talking, they're just standing there. Let's see what we got over here. This Templar. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. He always reminds me of a Muppet with these eyes. Did you know about the bandits just outside the village? Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, 
and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the warning. Best of luck wherever you might go. What he says, basically, is that the Lord has gone, which we've already talked to the farmer about. People are in the tavern, which is over here, I think. And then there's the Chantress board here and the Chantry. And he's just going to tell us that, which is fine. These refugees don't really say much. We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll to those bandits. Yeah, and it they didn't. Talk about it's the bandits guess, a lot. But I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. I think you're right, actually. Robbed woman, robbed child. Mother says we have to run before the bad men get here. Greetings to you, good sir. If it isn't too much to ask, might you spare some bread or, or anything? We thought it would be safer in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? <clears throat> I met those bandits. They're dead now. You killed them? That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. I don't know why you can't just give them bread there. I... I'm sure I can spare a coin or two. I'm cold. I don't like Very well. <laughs> Dogs, but you can't interact with them. Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Is your profiteering ruffling some feathers? You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people! He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. You don't think you're being unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. So, whenever I get to this situation, I always think about this. He's got goods. He purchased them legally. He didn't scavenge them from anyone. Um, he purchased them the week before. Maybe he purchased them from people who were fleeing the village. I don't know. Um, it's possible that people were already leaving. But he did. He did that legally. She's saying we should just take all of your goods and distribute them. And that's not fair either. Because he did pay for them. So I always try to negotiate a fair price here. Now, Morgan does not like this situation. She thinks that this guy should be able to price it however we like. But in an emergency situation like this, you need to clamp down on people who will um, take advantage of the situation. If you think about it, COVID, people running off with uh, vast quantities of toilet roll and other paper goods um, and leaving others without. 
So you need to make sure that that is limited, uh, and but you need to also allow the goods to travel to people who need it. So yeah, you need to regulate prices. So that's what we're going to do here. Now Morgan doesn't like that because she has a very um, stern viewpoint on 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 like morality. She just doesn't she doesn't have it. Uh, she's very much survival of the fittest, um, do what you can to survive, um, Machiavellian, the needs, the, if you need something, then anything you do to, to do it is fine. I have more thoughts about this, but I'm just going to go ahead. I think you can compromise and still make a profit, no? Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must, so long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. So Morrigan disapproves here because of that, because I... <laughs> Because I actually had uh, some pity for the people. Hmm. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. I am indeed. Let's see what you have. All right. Just don't buy everything up. So here's some wine. It's a gift. I'm going to drag it in my inventory. Um, and it's not for anybody I've got now. So we'll keep it. We're going to get rid of this lightning thing. Uh, we'll keep the nature solve for now. I'll get rid of these short bows. I don't think we need them. This crossbow. Keep the long bow for now. Get rid of these maces and this dagger. Actually, we'll get rid of this and keep the wilds bow. Um, the response staff probably don't need it. Actually. Eh, it's all right. Uh, Morgan probably has one, and if not, I can always buy a different one. I'll keep the dark spawn battle axe for now. No, I won't. Get rid of it. Chasing flat blade, two-handed, twenty twelve damage. Okay, get rid of that maul. Get rid of the axe. Okay. Get rid of these leather boots. All these small metal shields. Soldiers' helms. I think some of this we picked up from. Um, let's see, that takes. 25. Get rid of the scale armor. Um, I think when you have. Um, chase and robes. People who die, you get their stuff. So, um, just gonna keep all this stuff. So, when we were with those guardsmen, I think they died at the end and we get their stuff. And so, I've got some stuff in my inventory that I may not necessarily like to have. Um,. I'm going to keep the rest of it. We'll keep these trap triggers and stuff for now. Okay. So, here's a chest here. I'm just going to loot it. Take a deep mushroom and the studded leather armor. Okay. The chanters are still operating their board. Now <laughs> that's dedication. We found someone sleeping in our fields, in the hay. Oh, I wonder who that would be. Okay, so the chanters board is like where you go to get quests. So there's bandits. <clears throat> there are three bandit groups in the northern woods. So let's take that quest. And I don't want to go in here just yet. I want to go. Well, 
I'm gonna loot these wooden crates first. Say. Talk to this little boy. Have you seen my mother? Uh, you. <laughs> Who is your mother? She's really tall, and she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some main men with swords came. A mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. <laughs> Come with me, I'll help you look for your mother. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. Here, take this silver, buy something to eat. A whole silver! Wow, thank you! You're a really nice man, kind of like father. I should go look for mother now. Yep. <laughs> I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. You know... Alistair's my favorite. <laughs> as soon as he said swooping is bad in the wild. Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Said he was from Redcliffe. He talked to everyone in the tavern. How are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes is? Might as well ask us how to get to the moon. He said that all the Redcliffe knights were looking for it, as if they didn't have anything better to do. I don't get it. There's the Aaron of Sacred Ashes again. Gain is the new region. Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh oh, low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a fellow by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen him? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Let's talk about this before things get out of hand. I doubt he would listen. He blindly follows his master's commands. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar, where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I serve him gladly. Enough talk! Take the warden into custody. Kill this sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right, let's make this quick. Yep, okay, we'll make it quick. Alright, there's three of them. <clears throat> there's a soldier, there's a soldier, there's a soldier. I think we can take... Wait, there's four of them, then there's commander. So what I'll do is... Imprison the commander. Our supplies. More the oh. no. Did it not work? Might not have worked. I'll do Here's the walking bomb. Then I'll start getting these guys. Keep an eye on everybody's health. Alistair's always low on health, like all the time. Where is Alistair? Here he is. Alistair? Oh, I think he's okay. Okay. Well, why don't I start attacking the commander anyway? Let's give him. Arcane Bolt! Ah, sugar! Okay. Have a lesser whole health poultice. 
Surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. Take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? The Grey Wardens know what really happened. I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. I appreciate what you tried to do. I am glad you found it in your heart to offer those men mercy. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. What does that mean? I joined the Chantry to live a life of religious contemplation. But I am no priest, not even an initiate. I'm Dalen, a pleasure. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. <clears throat> why so eager to come with me? The Maker told me to. <laughs> the Maker's on my side? Welcome aboard, then! Uh... That sounds a little sarcastic. Can you elaborate? I... I know that sounds absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair. And this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Very well, I will not turn away help when it is offered. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Okay, so we're gonna take away the dog. Indeed. Add Liliana. Except. Okay, and then should is it better? Yes, dog whistle. Use the dog whistle. Now I have my dog, <laughs> and that's what mods do for you. I love my done. mods with Dragon Age. Okay, so Blackstone liaison. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. Something I can do for you? I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orle. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. How can I be of service? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Tauran, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. I'll take a look. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make us blessings light your path. Uh, so the Regulars... Three letters of conscription. So we got one conscription in Lothering, so accept that. And then nobody in Lothering here, so we just have to worry about that letter of conscription here. Um, you never actually see the Blackstone regulars anywhere. I think that's kind of lame. I think that if they exist in the game, you should spot them somewhere else in the game. They just tend to give you these little side quests. Is there anybody up here to speak to? There's a bard and a barrel? Where's the barrel? Oh, it's over there. Let's see if the bard has anything I to just say. i play what the innkeep asks. We need his coin to travel north. Okay. Fine. 
You hear about food? Take it up with that bleeding run by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. You're out of food? A whole mess of refugees come in and leave near every night. All have hungry bellies, sad tails, and mementos for barter. I sold that bleeding merchant outside about half my larder two weeks back, and now he's charging outrageous sums for all my food. Don't worry about him, I took care of it. You did? Well, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Thanks. Show me what you've got. Does he have a backpack? No, but he does have gifts, so we're going to grab the gifts for sure. Is there anything I can get rid of? Oh, this longbow and the silver ring. Um, I think I'll keep leather armor just for just now. And get rid of these things. I will have them later. I just don't want them just now um, because I don't know when I will be able to use that. And by the time I do use that, I will probably have already. Um... Uh, is there anything else that I've got here? Uh, by the time I, I do need it, I will have enough money to purchase good ones, unless I find better ones. You hear about food? Take it up with that bleeding run by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Know of any well-paying work in lothering? Check the chantry's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Uh, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about, uh, poison? I have dabbled in such things. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. Any idea where I could get the poison ingredients? Sorry. <laughs> well, there's herbs in the north wood. As for other stuff, look around town. Some refugees just left things behind to travel faster. I don't really know what you need, though. I, I might have some in stock, too. Farewell. Okay, so let's see how much poison we need. We need three flasks of venom. I don't know that we've got three flasks of venom. Um, what have I got? Oh, okay, I think it's Morgan who can make poisons. What? Mm, maybe she doesn't know either. And who's got s the skills? Moringa does not have poison making, but she will. Oh, Liliana has poison making. Well, that's really handy, isn't it? She doesn't have... Nobody has traps. Nope. Okay, the so venom. So how many did I need after? Uh, I'm just gonna check that. Three flasks of venom. Well, it looks like we've got that venom already. So create, create, create. Any luck with that poison? Or you're here to see my stock? I have what you asked for. Splendid. Oh, if those beasties come on my land, I hope it teaches them a lesson. Yeah, it's enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some, hey? <laughs> hey, okay, so you completed that quest pretty easily. <laughs> I do like talking to this guy. You're gonna make more trouble? We've about all we can stand in Lothering now. Sorry about the mess. They had it coming. And they were trouble enough themselves. So, so long as you don't start more, I won't get excited. Right then, name's Denial. Sorry I can't chat much. As you see, we have a full house. Um, 
You know they don't- he doesn't have any rooms. They've already told us they don't have any rooms. Who were those men I fought exactly? When Tian Logang marched by, he left those fellas behind to look for Grey Wardens. I suppose that's you. Of course. I have no qualm with you, whatever the Tian says. My grandfather served. Your secret's safe with me. What can I get you then? Don't suppose you have any rumors? There's knights from Redcliffe wandering the countryside, looking for the place where Andreste's sacred ashes are said to lie. Can you believe that? The urn holding her ashes is a myth. And yet these knights say they were sent to find it anyhow to heal Aral Eamon. I didn't even know he was ill. Maybe he has a blight. If so, then times are even darker for Ferelden than any of us thought. Anything else I can get you? So he has about 20 rumors to say, but I'm not going to go through them all. If you want to have the, hear them all, then you can look at another playthrough. I don't want to waste everyone's way. time on this. Um, uh, how what far else? away is she for level up? Oh dear, pretty bad. Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to look at her stuff really quickly. Liliana is... Um, what are her skills? Her skills, spells, talents. She's a rogue. She's got archery. But they've given her... This is what I don't get about her. She's got archery, but they give her a dagger to start out with. This is ridiculous. So we're going to give her... This wild's bow. You can also change weapon sets. So I'm going to stick this dagger on her too, but she's not going to use it for now. Um, I will give her scale armor. She just has plain leather boots, but I don't have better le better boots for her. She doesn't. She can't wear the rest of them. Actually, she's got these little... Hmm. Yeah, let's give her the lion's paw. I don't have any gloves, but I do have... Um... Let's give her some resistance until I can find a better hat for her. That's really meant for a mage, but she can still use it. So Liliana... Um, I'm cunning, okay. Is a highly devout person. She is, um, let's give her her lily mounted. That's one to all attributes, and one to all attributes, and Give her a buckle of the winds. Okay. I think she'll be alright with that. Okay. She's a highly devout person and she is romanceable by a male. Now, I, <laughs> as you can no doubt hear from my voice, am a woman. Um, I am completely done? straight. In all sense of the word, um, and um, allow me, I could do that for you. Okay, silk carpet, brilliant. Thank you, Liliana. Um, and thank you guys in there for just letting me take your stuff. Patron, I don't think there's anybody else in here to talk to. She's romanceable. There are two people who are romanceable as a man, Eliana and Morgan. Well, this time it's true. They're not sure what to do about it yet, he says. What's to do? I thought you killed them. Easier said than done. Mages pick a fine time to go turning into demons, I tell you. Yep, mages turn into demons all the time in this world. It's, uh, it's a hazard. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. 
Actually, I was hoping I could help you. Don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I know a bit about herbalism. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Okay, so the quest. Three Lester Health poultices. We have 16. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. Allow me. I could do that for you. Okay. She could have sold that longbow I'm to get the poultices. Do you believe in the maker? Certainly not. I've no primitive of fear chickens. of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. As you say. It. But it is begun. This can't all be an accident. Spirits, magic, all these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father figure. So it is all random then. A happy coincidence that we are all here. Attempting to impose order over chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. So tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there? No one else? Mother occasionally had company. What? Company? Do I even want to ask? No, you really don't. Okay, so what I was trying to say is that Lillian is romanceable and Morgan was romanceable. Almost every guy I've seen play Let's Play has gone for Morgan. I, as a female character, you can also romance Liliana. I never have because I'm not interested in girls. But this time I'm going to. So this is Liliana is going to be my 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 good friend later, and it's going to be a bit weird. But we're going to try it together. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands. There, one of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Yeah, he's right. <laughs> um, why don't you keep your voice down? I watch the black heart descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! You poor man, what happened to you? My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn! Uh, it must have been horrible. How did you escape? No! I won't listen to the words of a man tainted by Darkspawn! I'm not evil, please. Won't you talk to me? I ran, hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. Ah, uh, that's terrible. I'm sorry for your loss. Why am I here? I still know how to go! <laughs> He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. There's always hope, must your courage. You're right. We can't give up. 
But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. Darksmen will feast on your living hearts. They will take your children. Uh, he was, he's gone? Where did that come from? Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Same. They're all refugees. Okay, we got Sir Marin. Is he going to give me money? It's good to see you again, Sister Laliana. Thank you, Sir Marin. Did you know there were bandits on the highway? Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Bryant will appreciate that. Ah, uh, Sir Bryant, not him. Have you heard any news? Not since Terran Loghain passed by with his arm. Ah. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Who's in charge? We were going to find out when we walk in the door, so... Make her watch over you. Okay. We're gonna find the revered mother. You will find in Ferelden and most of the worlds that the Chantry is headed by a revered mother. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Yes? Who might you be? I am the Grey Warden Dalen. I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tan Loghain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. The Grey Wardens did no such thing. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though, just in case. About those bandits outside the village. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? <laughs> I can lie. Uh, you they won't bother you again. I killed him. All of them? By yourself? It's true. I saw it from my post. It was over so fast, we didn't even have time to get over there. Sad that it needed to come to that. But then they asked for it. They did. Will you accept a small reward for your service? Of course I will. Uh, I could keep an eye out of trouble for the right pay. I wish I could afford such help to be truthful. Damn. <laughs> Take your reward at any rate. It is all I have to offer. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need... Things seem very dire in the village. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. Is there any other help you can offer? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. I need some information. If the matter is important, certainly. Um, I should go. I have nothing else to ask. That's weird. There's two options there. Are you in charge here? The revered mother leads this flock. I of she does. merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. You can just ignore the apostate behind me. <laughs> you do know that I am a mage. As am I. Oh, I have no time to even think about such things right now. My concern is protecting these people. I see nothing threatening them other than the Darkspawn. How do Templars fight against magic? We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. 
The revered Viler is behind him to the right. I know where she is. Are you the only protection the village has? Yes. But I'm asking anyway. Our ban was summoned by Tan Logain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. Uh, tell me about something else. If the matter is important, certainly. Have you heard any recent news? Other than the Darkspawn horde bearing down on us? None of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. <clears throat> king Caelan had no heir? He didn't. None that we know of. Teon Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Fair. I have nothing else to ask. No. Unless there's something else you need. I should go. Travel safely. <laughs> and may the Maker watch over you. Alright. Okay, there's a book over here. Tells you all about the first blight. It was massive. Took a long time for them to subdue. Um, horrible, just horrible. That's all you pretty much need to know. I mean, I could read it, but like I said, it's all available online if you want to look at it. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald, is that you, Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. But if Arl Eamon is sick, why are you here? Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable, with each day my hope dims. Okay. So your request for the ashes brought you here? I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Okay, tell me more about the Urn of Sacred Ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the Prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this? Yes, I do. I'd like to hear what you've learned. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. Fine. Your friend Sir Henrik is dead. I have something of his. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Is there a reward? Uh, I dealt with the bandits that killed him. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Shouldn't we be fleeing the dark spawn? My mission takes priority. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. Uh, I was hoping to meet Arl Eamon, but he's sick. Why is that, if I may ask? We need his help against Terran Loghain. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Terran Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Terran has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. Do you think Loghain is involved with the Arl's illness? The Arl fell ill before the king died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. I should go. I should go. With Henrik gone, I need <laughs> to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Let those who cry out from the shadows come to me. Those who seek redemption... 
People are always so nice when I tell them that their loved ones are dead. Praying for help from a prophet they burned and a god who has turned his back on them not once but twice. Morian is a very interesting character. Black Fox, okay. The Black Fox is a um, kind of a trouble troublemaker, a kind of a Robin Hood type of person. Stuff about the sacred ashes of Andraste. Um, this is a little bit of a legend about how Andraste died, and. He, Harvard took the ashes of Andraste to a secluded place high in the mountains. And there he carved from the living rock an urn to hold them. So she, her ashes is in an urn somewhere in the mountains. Not around here. I could do that for you. Bronze symbol of Andraste belongs to Liliana. Like I said, she's extremely devout. If you want to get on Liliana's good side, tell her that you love the Maker. And when the Maker spoke... I'm sorry, I cannot talk now. I must feed the holy brazier to ensure the flame never dies. What's the significance of this brazier? It represents the flames that burned Andraste herself. Do you know the tale? Uh, of course, doesn't everyone? We are all sinners. The fire symbolizes our hope that forgiveness is possible. Thus, we all serve by feeding its flames. Aren't there easier ways to keep the fire going? That's not the point. I'll leave you alone then. I wish you well. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Let those who be forgiven. Hatter Gritch. I don't remember him. Yes? What can I do for you? Oh, of course. Blackstone and regulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my sister. Sure, sign the paper, she said. You'll enjoy some coin now, but they'll be back. I guess I'll see you on the front lines. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our righteous dedication. Uh, just four health poultices and a deep Excellent. mushroom. That's and enduring pathetic. perseverance. And then shall the maker return to us. And then shall the maker return to the black city. There's a heaven. book over here. The Schism of the Imperial Chantry. Um... I feel like I've got a lot to say about Liliana and Morgan. <clears throat> like I said, most men that I've seen watching Dragon Age will always choose Morgan just because of the way she looks. Morgan is... mean. <laughs> she is... Like, just a horrible person. Um, but look at her outfit. I think guys just ignore the whole horrible person and say, Hey, she's 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 showing her breasts. Liliana is extremely devout. She's interesting. She's got an interesting past. She's also not a really great person, but at least she's nicer than Morgan. So that's why I'm going to romance her. Also, I've literally never romanced her or seen anybody do it. So it's a first for me. Excuse me. <coughs> I always, and I mean always, romance Alistair. Which is why I'm not a girl this time. Because I would romance Alistair. I love Alistair. He's my favorite character. I, he's just the greatest. <coughs> Unfortunately, he doesn't have as much dialogue as I would otherwise like, so I try not to talk to him until it's all gone, until later in the game. So let's talk to the revered mother here. She leads the church, and the Chantry is her protection. A Chantry. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to <clears> see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. Um, tithe to the Chantry? Uh, what tithe is acceptable? Might I suggest 30 silver? Very well, 30 silver it is. I think that puts you on Liliana's good side, so I'm going to do it. Thank you, my son. 
What can I do for you then? <clears throat> I'm a Grey Warden and I need your help. A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tan Logain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. So I've heard, but it's Logain who betrayed the king. Tan Logain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... Can't you provide any help to the Grey Wardens at all? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village and child. <coughs> the best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, if there is nothing else... I'm gonna go. May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. See, Liliana approved. Yay. Fear and <clears throat> Very well. So now um, there is something Reverend Mother should do, and I should have probably done this before I went to speak to her. I'm just going to check the Chancellor's board and see if there's anything new. Nope, I need to I need to complete the first one before I complete the rest of it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I. So let me get this straight: you were a cloistered sister. You must have been a brother before you became a Templar. No? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the Chantry? No, never. Do you? Yes. You may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. I, I would tell them that I was just checking. Oh, you never know, right? I... No, I never did anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Suit yourself. The look on their face was always priceless. Yep, yeah, so, um... How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chase end would never stop <clears throat> the petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Enough! People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough! So I got a codex about the chastened. The carnage we left in the wilds was horrifying. How do you live without the forest all around? They're basically a tribe of people who live out in the forest. Shocky basiti. Marade starit, Marade twasit. You want one of my captors? I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. You're a prisoner? Who put you here? I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. The revered mother said he slaughtered an entire family, even the children. It is as she says. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. And just what are you doing in there? I have been convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? Aren't you interested in seeking atonement? Death will be my atonement. There are other ways to redeem yourself. Perhaps. What does your wisdom say is equal to my crime? Uh, you can help me defend the land against the Blight. The Blight? Are you a Grey Warden then? Yes, I am. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. <clears throat> Though I suppose not every legend is true. <laughs> kind of a dick. Dick, dick is to say. Would the revered mother let you free? Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance. It seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. I'll leave you for now. Farewell, then. To be left here to starve? Or to be taken by the Darkspawn? No one deserves that. Not even a murderer. So here's a little note about fatigue. You can tell on the, on the job board and stuff. You can tell on your armor. This right here to the upper left is the fatigue. My mind doesn't give me too much fatigue. 
Alistair's does, and Liliana's does, because it's heavier armor. You want to kind of give them as much armor as you can without... So this one gives her lots less fatigue, so I'm going to give her this. You want to give them as much armor as you can without um, <clears throat> compromising their ability to... Uh, well, fatigue means that they can't um, move around as fast. We don't know what was. That was my cat. <laughs> I don't know if you killed King Kalen and make her forgive me. I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Okay, so I was looking forward to this. This is our first fight with everybody in the par party. Excuse me. So, I'm going to crushing prison that guy. Morgan has Winter's Grasp, Drain Life. Disorient. Vulnerability Hex, Spider Shape, Horror. Mind blast like I do. She also has lightning, so we'll cast lightning on this guy. Liliana has rapid shot, dirty fighting, pinning shot, song of valor, and crippling shots, and shattering shot. Shattering shot's pretty good, so I'll do that here. Alistair can take care of himself. You will so now we've knocked off a little bit of health from people. <laughs> and Alice was just just <laughs> taking all of the aggro. Okay, so I'm going to wear the walking bomb him and disorient what whoever she's got. Now we're gonna do disorient that person. And Liliana is still working on shattering shots, so let's keep going. <laughs> Um, let's see who. Alistair's pretty good. Got that pretty good. Okay, what else do I got? I have my, um, mm, Death Siphon. I don't think I need to do that just yet. I will Walking Bomb. No, I won't. I will Mind Blast. <laughs> And then I shall heal Alistair because he he's gonna be part of the focus for everybody. Okay. And I'll attack him. And then I shall attack him. And then I shall attack him. And I shall heal. Alistair. Here comes trouble. And then I shall attack. Now we go faster. That wasn't too bad. I'm gonna have to learn all of their talents. Um, I don't usually micromanage my party to this extent, but I think it might be fun this time. All right. So there's elf fruit and a chest over here. Allow me. I could do that for you. Oh, some rubble. Oh, some exciting rubble. I'm hoping I have enough space in my inventory. Oh, there's some bandits. Okay, I'm gonna get this merchant mercenary archer with a crushing prison. Blah! Then I shall hit this rogue as you said, with an arcane bolt. Why is Liliana using her? I need to look at her tactics. Um, so far, so good, I think. Need to heal Alistair. Why is she using her knife? I'm going 
to repair that walking bomb, and it, and then heal Alistair again. <laughs> okay, done with you now. Right, we gotta level up. That's good. The Mavari Hounds are really hard. I shall do it. Difficult, um... Difficult enemies. <clears throat> First of my level up. So... Give myself some more magic and some more willpower. Where am I in the spirit? Okay. What do I want? I know I'm both of these. We'll go in spirit. So that is mana drain. Okay. Have you, did I have a have a yes I have a specialization so arcane warrior ha huh. I didn't think this is available yet but I'm gonna choose it that means I have uh, sugar. Arcane Warrior, Combat Magic. May use the magic attribute to satisfy the strength requirement to equip higher level weapons or armor. So, Aura of Might, Shimmering Shield. Okay. So this is not supposed to be available to me yet, <laughs> this arcane warrior, but I am totally going to take it. Um, I don't have any spells in it now because I didn't even notice that I had a specialization unlocked, but I will definitely pop some in there. This has begun. Where are we looking at now? We've got bandits here. I don't see any Mavari hounds. I do have an archer though, so I'm gonna put a force field around him. And then I'm going to crushing prison this guy. And then I'm gonna go over to Alistair. I'm gonna mind blast these guys. And then. Liliana? Why? 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 Why are you using your... There. Idiot. Okay. I'm, I don't have her tactics right. I'm going to walking bomb that bandit. And I'm going to... Walking okay, bomb that bandit. And then I'm going to make sure. Oh, my, have I been stunned? Yes, I have. I'm going to make sure that Alistair keeps his health up. Because of that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to heal myself. And then. Deal with this archer over here. I'm gonna have to watch those virulent walking bomb things. It shall be done. Okay. So we've got a landmark tree here at the dog.
and pee on the landmark tree. Fantastic. That's what dogs do. And that's fine. Okay, so we've got a bandit fight over here, so let's get to it. This is the last group of bandits. I'm just going to inch forward a little bit until they start coming at us. Watch out! I should Back! Now we do battle. Watch out! We don't have a mage here. We've got a bandit leader though. I'm gonna put him in a crushing prison. Run while you can. Then I'm going to put that guy in a force field. Then I'm going to mind blast. Can I? Yep. And I'm going to get back out of the action. I'm going to heal Alistair. And, um... Attack the bandit leader. Actually, with the virulent walking bomb being the way it is, I might respec and take that off. Oh, it doesn't even have telekinetic weapons. Weapons on, okay. I might take that off because it seems to be that uh, it really hurts my characters more than it helps. Uh, I'm gonna heal Alistair real quick. What have we got? Who have we got down here? Okay. Fools. More the fools they by the maker. Okay, so we got the bandit leaders. This looks like it should go on our canary friend when we get him out of his cage. It shall be done. Allow me. I could do that for you. As the canary said, he did kill people. He is guilty of murder. He did it. He does not make any any apologies for it. Um, we are simply getting him out of that cage so that he can fight the dark spawn with us. We are not doing it. Okay, here we go. Giant spiders. Horrible, horrible giant spiders. Is there a big one? No, they're all just horrible. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to randomly do stuff. And then walking bomb that one. Well, when I'm not stunned. But I can mind blast. And also, what is this? Is it still? Um... Half the battle in these battles is just watching people's health. If you do that, and you keep an eye on it, you're pretty good. And now Alistair has a level up. Yay! Take all. It is begun. And this is for that quest, in case Very you didn't well. have any toxin extracts, they're giving you some. As you say. And that's it. That's all we got here now. Whoop, stuck on a hill. <laughs> so now I go back 
to the Chancellor Sports, turn in some quests. I tried to get into this windmill, I don't even know how many times. It's just decorative. It's cool though. And, um, in other Dragon Age games, they're much cooler, so, uh, if I enjoy doing this, ah, see, I've got a quest to turn in, it's Chantress board. If I enjoy doing this, I might do other Dragon Age games or other games, um. Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. When bears attack, except the last keepsake, except so when bears attack, there's some bears out in the wood. Last keepsake. Ah, uh, this is the little boy we talked to. She's got red hair and a green cloak, so we're gonna have to look for her. But in the meantime, let's go talk to the revered mother. I love their motto, in war, victory. Very cool. Some people get Dragon Age tattoos. I have been tempted. <laughs> but I have not got one. Yes. What can I do for you now? I want to talk about Stan. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? I want him freed, I might have a use for him. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. I think you should reconsider that stance now. Ah, oh, that's not very nice. I think you might release him into my custody. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, your reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Okay, now we get to go free the Canari. The Canari look a little bit, a little bit different in this game than they do in the other games. They got they've got a real um, upgrade in the other games. The Canari in this in this world are just big people. I just so wish I could get into that. You truly do not believe in any sort of higher power? It has been bothering you, I see. No, I do not. Must I? What do you believe happens to you after you die, then? Nothing? I do not go to sit by the Maker's side, if that's what you mean. Only those who are worthy are brought to the Maker's side. So many other sad souls are left to wander in the void, hopeless and forever lost. And what evidence of this have you? <laughs> I see only spirits. No wandering ghosts of wicked disbelievers. It must be so sad to look forward to nothing. To feel no love and seek no reward in the afterlife. Yes, the anguish tears at me so. You have seen through me to my sad, sad core. Now you're simply mocking me. You notice. It appears your perceptive powers know no bounds. See, Morgan's just a horrible bitch. I don't I don't see well, I do see. It's really obvious when you look at it or why the guys are interested in romancing her instead of Liliana. It's just really kinda of sad that a guy would be way more interested in how somebody looks. I mean anyway, let's level up Alistair. Let's give him a couple more strings. Some more decks. Uh, he's got a talent. Let's taunt. Okay. Now I know there's a quest there. You know what? Let's talk to her. I can't do anything about this, but let's talk to her. Hello. Uh Stranger, I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. 
Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Why don't you just buy some? None to be had. Barlin has all the traps in the village in his fields. Barlin has poison traps on his land? Oh, he doesn't have any poison yet, thank the Maker. So his well, he does now. Full of traps. <laughs> he can be a bit eccentric. I can't make traps. I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. I have literally never used traps in Dragon Age games. Um, they're really fiddly. They're they're well. <laughs> it's difficult to get your enemies to run into them. And sometimes your friends run into them, so I just I've just never used them. Okay, Stan, come out of there. You wish something more of me. I have the key to open your cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. She agreed to release you into my custody. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the blight. Very well, I'll let you out. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. I guess that will do. May we proceed? I am eager to be elsewhere. Okay, so the key to stun... This big guy here... Is that he is very literal. He is haunted by what he's done. And all he wants is just to do his job. <laughs> That's all he wants. He doesn't want any unnecessary complications or questions. He is a very simple guy when you know that. You just you just don't ask him. You don't joke with him. You don't mess around with him. Um, I'm just going to accept my main party. I'll, I'll deal with Stun later. I don't usually use him, so... Maybe this time I will. Okay, so I still have uh, the bears and the orphan's mother. I've already given the letter to him in Lothering. Nothing else in here. Arl of Redcrest, uh, Orsmar, Circle of Magi, Dalish Clans. You arrive in Lothering, past the village lies the Imperial the Highway will take you, Redcliffe, uh, da da da. So, we just need to get those bears sorted out and find that guy's mother. And then we will be fine. There's some wolves over here that we'll take care of first. And I really wish... I never like this part! I'm gonna watch um, Alistair's health because he's basically missed that on all sides. Oh, but I have my hound helping as well, but that's not gonna help perfectly. Heal Alistair again. There's an awful lot of dogs, you know. <laughs> I don't like the way they sound, the poor things. Heal Alistair. Another wolf. Okay. Thankfully, there's nothing to pick up from these wolves. Poor things, they're just doing what they can. Okay, I think we run into the bears around here. It shall be done. Okay. And then her body just lays there. Really sad. Okay, where is the bears? I think they're over. Yep, they're here. There's three of them. They're equipped with rage. So let's see if a crushing prison helps. Yes! Oh, that's good. Okay. And now, well, actually, we will virulent walk and bomb 
You know what? We'll very that walking bomb the one that can't move. <laughs> Although Alistair's gone after that one. Ah! <laughs> Okay, so we've got rid of the bears as well. So we'll go back to the Chantress board. See if there's any more quests in my list. I don't know that I've ever made traps for that lady in all of my playthroughs. And I think I've played this ten times. I just literally never give her any traps. Um, so I'm not too torn up about it. That miner doing? Can we talk to this miner person? We're planning on running that mine until the last minute. Felleron's orders. Okay. Oh, there's Elfruit in a chest. I think it's on the other side of this wall. Elfruit is important. That's how you get your um, health poultices. You definitely want to get all the Elfruits. <laughs> I know it it seems like a pain in the ass and it's in every single Allow me. um Dragon Age game as well. You definitely want to pick up all your elf fruit. You want to you want to do the flower picking, you know, you're like the dragon boy and you're out there picking flowers and prancing around like <laughs> Well, hi Alistair, did you just did you just forget you were with us? Okay, there he is. Oh, they've run out of things to chat about. <laughs> okay. The path of righteousness is full of hardship, but the Maker smiles upon its travelers. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. So you got 50p for that. No quests. So I think my quest log should be clear. Yeah. Got lothering. We've done everything, so we can get out of here now. And we picked up stun. Yay! There's that raven. I may reese back here in a bit, but... That virulent walking bomb is great, and then if two of them explode right next to each other, they take out Alistair, and it's like, ugh, well... <laughs> Maybe not the best. Maybe not the best. But we'll, we'll see how we go. There's some elf fruit over here I'm gonna grab. I'm serious. I know it's boring, but the elf fruit, you need it. I've only got... 26 potions. <laughs> I will need them. Very well. Get back, Sandal, Away with you, foul creatures. Leave us alone. Okay, so we've got Herlock Alpha, who I'm going to do crushing prison for. Yes, it worked. We've got Herlock, 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 Junlock, Herlock. Okay. So I'm going to virulent walking bomb this herlock. I'm going to other walking bomb the other one. Hopefully, poor Alistair <laughs> won't get into the. Um... You know, I literally have not used this death siphon either. Um, I'm not getting the crosswind. Uh, Poor Alistair, I swear, he, he gets all the... He gets all the aggro. Need to heal myself. And then shoot this guy with some arcane bolts. Is that everybody? Mighty right. timely what arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. You're welcome. 
The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandor. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Uh, it's a bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says half of it. Thank you for the offer, but there may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Ah, <clears throat> uh, but Dan. We'll be off. We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. But Dan, you've got a thing over your head. Alistair likes small carved statuettes. Thank you, Carnley, for all your assistance. He does. Blood mage. I don't remember a blood mage. Oh, there's a seal. There's a Maleficar regrets. I won't go back. Let them hunt and dread finding me. But you, Melis, that should have been Melis, should not leave this, live this life. It would please me if you found a life in the Circle Tower. I left a few things there, mostly stolen from the Enchanters. Sell them to fund a new path. The cache is in the study area, middle alcove. Goodbye. Okay, we're going to have to keep an eye out for that. Oh, he's got the quest marker erased from his head now. That's good. Her luck. Fine. Is there anything else that we need to do? Oh no, he doesn't. He's still got it. We'll be off. As, we'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Okay. Thank you, Carly, for all your assistance. Well, no, there's nothing else in Lothering. I'm just gonna try talking him one more time. We'll be off as soon okay. as this mess is cleaned. Okay. I'll get out of here then. Thank you, Carly, for all your assistance. So gonna get a camp. <clears throat> yep. The loading screens are longer than I remember. Ah, it's because of this cutscene. There's the arch demon. Got big teeth. Bad dreams, huh? <laughs> Why are you bothering me? That must have been something I ate. Drank more like, as in the tainted blood, remember? You see. Part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Why didn't Duncan just tell everyone that? He did. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Thank you, Alistair. I appreciate it. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Oh god. <laughs> I thought it was gonna crash there. I'm just gonna save it. Really quick. Save. New save. Okay. Um, there's a couple things I w we've got around here to do. And of course we've got to talk to people, but I think for now this is about as long as this this recording should get, so I'm going to stop it here. Um, this is part 10, so I'll meet you in part 11. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> on YouTube they say like and subscribe, but you know what? I don't know how many of these videos I'm going to make, so don't bother about it if you don't want to. Um, there is one thing I wanted to ask. Uh... 
I am not going to do the fade. If you want to see the fade, then you should probably you should probably watch another playthrough. I don't want to be mean about this, but I've done the fade at least a dozen times and I'm bored of it. I think it's boring even on the first playthrough. I really don't like it. Um, so I'm going to skip it. I have a mod to skip it. I think that... Um, I'm sorry if that's if you do want to see the fade, but um, that's not, not something I'm going to do. And uh, I will try to remember in my next uh, recording to tell you exactly which mods I have so you know what I've got going forward. Um, but the, the skip the fade one is the big one. We've also got that raven to respec. Um, and we've got a few other things that are scattered around. The, the way we open up trunks and things like that. Um, but uh, for next next time we'll come my hair I'll get rid of these uh, exclamation marks and uh, little quest marks over there and I will also speak to everyone so enjoy and I'll see you in part 11 <laughs>